Mr Speaker, for almost 30 years, Queensland has had a standing Royal Commission based on the recommendations of the Fitzgerald Inquiry. That inquiry uncovered the culture of corruption and cover-up that had festered for many years inside the Bjorki Peterson government. Mr Speaker, I take deep offence at the allegation my government is anything like that which led to the Fitzgerald Inquiry. Yeah. Former members representing my electorate, my father and the late Kev Hooper, had the courage to raise, issue, raise, to raise issues of corruption that led to the Fitzgerald Inquiry and the formation of the CJC, today's Triple C. Their courage and the integrity of people like Tony Fitzgerald and Wayne Goss is the reason that I stand in this parliament today. Yeah. My government has been determined to strengthen the independence of the Crime and Corruption Commission and its oversight body, the PCCC. This was not the approach of the government we, we replaced. Mr Speaker, any politician or any member of the public for that matter who has allegations of official misconduct or corruption should immediately take those allegations to the Triple C. Yeah. As I said, after documents were tabled in this parliament by the member for Cairns this month, take those allegations to the Triple C. The member for Bundamba raised issues about alleged corruption involving then Ipswich Mayor Paul Pasali with me when I was opposition leader. She did not provide me with any specific documentary evidence, but she advised me that she was taking her concerns to the Triple C that day. I understood she had done that. As a former Minister for Police and a former Deputy Chair of the PCCC, the member for Bundamba knows how to approach the Triple C. Indeed, after the member for Cairns tabled documents in the Parliament in June, the member for Bundamba tweeted a statement on the 22nd of June that said, and I quote, after studying the documents tabled in Parliament and given the serious questions I now believe need answers, I have concluded that I have no choice but to refer though these serious issues to the Crime and Corruption Commission, and I tabled that document. Mr Speaker, that shows the member knows the proper procedure for acting on allegations of corrupt conduct is to refer these allegations directly to the Triple C. Mr Speaker, I am proud to lead a government that has restored integrity and accountability in Queensland. Yeah. We reduced threshold for disclosure of political donation from the LNP's level of 12,800 to 1,000. Pause the clock, member for Kwana. And any other members? Sorry, it wasn't you. It was someone from that order. I apologise, member for Kwana. If, if members are going to be unruly, I will take action against both sides. I'll listen to the Premier in silence. She's not being provocative. I call the Premier. We introduced real-time disclosure of political donations in 2017. We appointed the independent chair of the Crime and Corruption Commission. Yeah. We reinstated job security and fairness for government employees. Yeah. We restored community objection rights removed by the LNP government. Yeah. We removed the LNP's gag clauses from service agreements. Yeah. And we will never, we will never waver in our commitment for a transparent and accountable government. Yeah. Thank you. I call the Deputy Premier.